Double for your trouble. Double for your trouble. So two weeks ago, I had a dream. And in this dream, I had a daughter. But she was grown. She was like a teenage daughter, but she had come back and she had been away from me for a while in the dream. Someone had taken her from me. And in the dream, she was there. I was there. We were getting acclimated more with each other, um, understanding each other and building a relationship with each other, me and my daughter. But like I said, someone had taken her from me in this dream. My mother was there. And I asked my mother, I said, who, who took her when she was born from me? And my mother said, her sister, she said, your aunt. And she said, why do you ask? I said, because I'm taking her to court. I'm taking her to court and I woke up and I knew that the thief had been found. Now, when I said my aunt, it doesn't necessarily have to be my aunt, you know, when I have dreams, most of the time, talk, God talks to me through different symbols. And, but I knew, I see, you know, you know, my friend, you know, the judge, you know, the judge. And I just want to encourage you to take the enemy, the thief. It says in the Bible, if the thief be found, he must repay sevenfold plus his house. He's got to give you back more way more plus interest. Hallelujah. Take it to the courts of heaven. So last night I had this dream that went along with that. In the dream, I had two, two young sons plus my physical son. That is actually one, one of them. I have two sons, but one of my physical sons was with me in the dream, but I had two young sons that had been stolen from me. They were probably three or four and I remember taking a picture of them. And I remember saying in the dream, wow, what a testimony this is. And I remember in the dream that I was going to uh, give out the testimony. I was going to speak the testimony to people. Um, and I knew in the dream, again, that I was getting more back when the enemy stole. And you think about Job. What all was taken from him and what he got back. Hallelujah. So we're going to get more back. This is a season of restitution. Uh, you know, children in the Bible mean blessing. Children are, it can mean anything. It could mean, um, you know, a generational blessing that was taken from you. It could be a mindset. It could be your peace. It could be um, talent. It could be a financial blessing. It could be a relationship blessing, a ministry, um, health, whatever it is. Uh, you know, it could be something new that was taken from you that you were supposed to, um, you know, walk in. Maybe uh, some pieces of your destiny that was taken from you, taken from the enemy, taken from, you know, a person, a place, a time, Maybe even yourself, maybe you stepped out too soon or maybe that you let the opportunity pass you by. But this is a season. Listen, you know the judge. I know the judge. Hallelujah. Praise God. I know the judge. And I want to encourage you to take everything right now that has been stolen from you, that you have lost. Hallelujah. Take it up to the King of Kings. Hallelujah. Take it to the God of everything. Take it to the Lord. Take it to the courts. Petition. Set out a petition and say, God, I have this that was taken, this, this, this. And your word says, hallelujah, your word says that if the thief be found, he must repay sevenfold plus his substance, plus his house. And Lord, I declare and I decree, the Bible says to decree a thing and it shall be established. I decree, hallelujah, that everything that was stolen from me be returned plus more plus more. Like I said, I had the double children, the double little boys, and I knew that it was double. Double for your trouble. I'm speaking over you today, my friend. Double for your trouble. Double for your trouble. And when I was driving into work today, something kind of off the subject, I had seen where in Mississippi, the bridge had collapsed there um, also. 
And I think there were three people dead and four that were injured. Of course, we want to pray over these people, um, you know, pray and uh, pray health over these people, pray peace over the family members of the ones that have passed. But it got me thinking um, when I had released the word about the bridge, bridges collapsing. I don't know how many months ago it's been, three months ago, four months ago on YouTube and, and Facebook and social media. Um, and I was thinking about that. I said, oh, Lord Jesus, Father, you know, I, I was praying to God about it. I was like, God, you told me, you asked me, Lord, and God is asking not just me, but many this hour. See, this is what it comes down to. You have to understand what you are agreeing with. You got to understand what you're agreeing with. When the Lord asks, whom shall I send? And you say me, you say me. Yes, Lord. Yes, you have to understand what you're agreeing with. But see, God's thoughts and his ways are not our ways and not our thoughts. And if you say yes, you have to understand that you might have to drop your net. You might have to drop your family your home, you may have to sell your home, you may have to sell your car, everything you have, you may have to get every money, every last penny in your pocket, in your bank account, and give it to Joe on the street, if God says it. Whatever he says, you got to make sure you understand that you're going to have to get out of your comfort zone. Everybody that God used in the Bible, they had to step out of their comfort zone. It was not a comfortable place. And they had to bend, they had to surrender to God's will. Not our will, but God's will. His is the center. His will is the center wheel spinning. We have to bend and surrender to His will. And you know, when I was driving this morning, I say, Lord, yes, I said, give me clarity and I will speak. I will release what thus saith the Lord God to your people to warn them, to speak to them. See, prophets in the Bible, they were persecuted. They were killed. They were not liked. This is not a popularity contest. They were famous, but they were not popular. There's a difference. Hallelujah. There's a difference. You know, a prophet is not even accepted in his hometown or even his home. And I can attest for that. But that's okay because Jesus was bigger than his hometown. Hallelujah. And we got to get in that mindset that what he has placed inside of you or what he has placed in your mouth to release is bigger than your hometown. Don't worry about those that want to stay in their own little teeny cults or want to stay over in the corner hidden, or want to be Nick at nights, I say Nicodemus, Nick at nights, that will message you. <laughs> they will message you, but they won't like any of your posts. They won't encourage anything because they're, they're afraid what people will think. But they know the power in you because when the war comes... And when all hell breaks loose or when they have a question, they're going to inbox you and they're going to ask you, but they won't stand with you in front of other people. These people are your nick at nights and that's okay. Jesus loves them too. Praise God. He loves them. But you have to understand what you are saying yes to. And God this season is looking for people that are a hundred percent, hundred percent surrendered. And we'll give in to his will and we'll seek his will, live for his will and say, God, here I am. I say, yes, I say, yes, I say, yes, Lord, send me father. And see, we want to talk about people and, and snarl our nose at people that God is using. And we have no idea what they have been through and what they have lost. See, if you say yes to God, you got to stay in the process. And see, the process takes most people out. The process. Because you want to step out of it and then you're already out. You're done out. So God is asking and he's calling forth this season. He said, whom shall I send? He's asking you, can I send you? And I want to encourage you today, my friend. Double for your trouble. Double for your trouble. Take it to the courts of heaven because this is a season of reset, saith the Lord God. It's a season of recompense. It's a season of restitution and resurrection. 
Jump in while the glory's going and while the water is running. I love you, friends. God loves you. Speak to you soon.